Hello and welcome to the tutorial that's going to help you to set up a robot C template file. So first thing we want to do is to launch our program and you can find the icon for our program on our computer desktop. It is called robot C 4.0 not to be confused with robot C RVW that's something we'll use at a later time so please make sure that you have the correct one robot C for VEX Robotics 4. Okay. So I'll go ahead and double click on that to open that up. That'll open it up to the splash screen. Just click on it to get rid of that. And we're ready to begin. So the first thing we want to do is to configure the platform type. To do that, we're going to come up to the robot menu. Click on that. Then we're going to come down to platform type. And notice that the default is VEX IQ. So what we want to do is come down to VEX Robotics and then select VEX 2.0 Cortex. Okay. Next we're going to come back up to the robot menu. We're going to come down to platform type and in addition to VEX 2.0 Cortex we want to select Natural Language PLTW. All right. Next we want to go back to the robot menu and we want to select the VEX Cortex communication mode and notice that it is set on VEXnet or USB. We want to change that to USB only. Okay. All right. Next. We're doing a lot in the robot menu here. So again, back to the robot menu. We're going to go down to the uh, download firmware menu selection and then we're going to click on automatically update VEX Cortex as a selection. Now when you do this, you're going to get this message. You click OK. And if you do not have a Cortex connected to your computer, you will get this message, which I just got. It's OK. Ignore it. Just click OK. And then we'll move on. All right. So next, we're going to be going over to the View menu, and we're going to set up a couple of things that I want you to um, see. So please make sure that you have function library text checked and that you have um, code completion check and status bar checked. So those three things, function library, code completion, status bar. You also want to go down to toolbars and make sure that you have big icon toolbar checked. Okay? All right. So once you've done that, we're going to remain in the view menu. We're going to go to preferences. And I want you to make sure that you have these items checked. These five items. Show splash screen at startup. Auto file save before compile. Auto file save on application exit. Large icon toolbar. Hide system predefined toolbars. Next, we're still in Preferences. If you get out of that, we get back to it by going View, Preferences. We want to go to Detailed Preferences. Okay, when you get to the uh, Robot Preferences, uh, what you want to do is you want to click on the tab that says Platform, this middle tab right here. Then you want to make sure that the platform type says VEX 2.0 cor uh, Cortex. It should. should be all set. And you want to make sure it says automatic selection. Once you do that, go ahead and click OK. And it's configured. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to open a sample program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. Then we're going to go to Open Sample Program. Click on that. Okay, then next we want to make sure that we go to PLTW and then the file that we need is this one right here, this PLTW template.c. So select it, click on open, and that opens sample file for us. Now, next thing we want to do is save this, and we want to save it to a, a location that uh, we have access to. So we want to save it to our own home drive. 
So to do that, we're going to click File, and then come down to Save As. Now, next, we want to come over to the side pane and find this PC. Click on that, and then we see our various drives. You want to come down to under Network Locations and find your H drive. It should have your special student ID number on it, and then say H at the end. Okay? So double click on that. And then we want to go into the folder called My Robotics. Now, if you for some reason don't have this folder, very easy to create. You could simply just click New Folder and then call it My Robotics. And I'm going to have to, okay? But I'm not going to do that because, well, it's just going to replace the other one. That's fine. Okay, so once you get to your My Robotics folder, go inside of it. And now we're going to rename this file. Instead of calling it PLTW template, let's just call it Robot C template. And then click Save. All right. Good. So next, what we want to do is turn our attention to this area in the green, this header. Um, remember, um, anything in green is a comment. The program won't actually uh, execute this. This is just for human beings to see. Okay? And this is the particular comment we use for multi-line, forward slash, and then a, a little star on the first line, and then after everything, a star, and then a forward slash, and then everything in between is a comment. And I think we've already covered this, where if you just want a single line comment, you can do forward slash, forward slash, but that's just FYI. Okay, so project title, let's call this Robot C template. Team members, put whoever's working on it. Okay, date, put whatever date it is that you happen to be working on this. And then section, put your class color. You all have colors for each class, so uh, just put that, whatever your class color is. Task description, create a robot C template. And the pseudocode, you can ignore that because we're not going to actually put any code in. All right. Okay. So next, we need to set up our motors and sensors for our robot or for our program. Okay. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can go up to robot, click on the robot menu, and then come down to motors and sensor setup. Or because we have this toolbar showing, notice that we have a button that says motor and sensor setup. So if you click on that, it brings you to this. And what we want to do next is go ahead and click on motors. And this is where we're going to set up our motors. Okay. So now the first motor that we want to set up is uh, in port one. And we're going to call this claw motor. And please notice I'm using what's called camel case. I have uh, a, a two-word name, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together, and I'm just going to capitalize the second word. And then type, where it says no motor, we'll click on the arrow, and we'll go down to VEX 393 motor. And then next, we're going to put in the left motor. Same thing, camel case. And then VEX 393 motor. And then right motor camel case vex 393 motor and then I click apply and notice it put in some special what they call pragma configurations up here this is just sort of a note that shows you what these have been called all right so next we're going to go over to the vex 2.0 analog sensors and in port 1 we're going to put in a line follower. Please notice I am using camel case. And for this one, we're going to, as you might expect, call it line follower. Port 2, we're going to put in the potentiometer. And then to select over here the sensor type, potentiometer, as you might expect for that. And I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And then next, I'm going to come down to the digital sensors, 
over here, Vex Cortex Digital Sensors. Click on that. And the first digital sensor is going to be a limit switch. Let's type limit switch. And please notice I am using camel case. We'll do that for all of these. And we're going to call this just a touch sensor. And the next one's going to be a bump switch. Same deal, touch sensor. And then down at the bottom in port 12, we're going to put in a green LED. And then for that sensor, we're going to call this, as you might expect, VEX LED. And I'm going to click Apply. And then OK. I could have just clicked OK, and that would have been enough. All right, so now we've set up our file. Uh, the last thing we want to do is we want to save this. And this task is complete. Let's see how you do.